Hello everyone, you are welcome to solve this nice algebra problem which is 81x to the power of 3 minus 18x to the power of 2, this is equal to 1. What are the values of x? So let's prevent the solution from here. And we have that x is not equal to 0. So we have 81 x to the power of 3 minus 18 x to the power of 2 this is equal to 1 we can express 81 as 3 times 27 times x to the power of 3 then minus 18 which we can express as 2 times 9 times x to the power of 2 this is equal to 1 the next step from here we can express 27 as 3 to the power of 3 and we can express 9 as 3 to the power of 2. Substituting this, we have 3 times 3 to the power of 3 times x to the power of 3 then subtract 2 times 9, 9 is 3 to the power of 2 then times x to the power of 2, this is equal to 1. Then we have 3 to the power of 3 x to the power of 3 and 3 to the power of 2 x to the power of 2 this is in the form of a to the power of n times b to the power of n which we can express as a b raised to the power of n applying this exponent property then we have 3 multiplied by 3x raised to the power of 3 then subtract 2 into the parentheses 3x raised to the power of 2, this is equal to 1. The next step from here, we can let 3x be equal to u. Now, let's substitute here, so that we have 3 u to the power of 3 minus 2 u to the power of 2, this is equal to 1. So let's take 1 on the left hand side, so that we have 3 u to the power of 3, subtract 2 u to the power of 2, minus 1, this is equal to 0. Now, the next step from here, we can express minus 1, this is the same thing as minus 3 plus 2. So let's substitute this, so that we have 3 u to the power of 3, subtract 2, u squared then minus 3 plus 2 this is equal to 0. So this implies that we have 3 u to the power of 3 and we have 3 here so we can write this as 3 u to the power of 3 minus 3 then we have minus 2 this is minus 2 u squared plus 2 this is equal to 0. Now we have two parts here, we have two parts here, from the first part here, 3 is common, so we can factor out 3, so that we have u to the power of 3, minus, here we have 1, cross the parentheses, subtract, 2 is common here, so we can factor out 2, into the parentheses, we have u squared, minus 1, cross the parentheses, this is equal to 0. We can express this as 3 into the parentheses. This is u to the power of 3 minus 1 can be expressed as 1 to the power of 3. Then subtract 2 into the parentheses. u squared minus 1 squared cross the parentheses. This is equal to 0. From the first part here, this is actually the difference of two cubes expressed as a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3. And the second part here, this is the difference of two squares expressed as a squared minus b squared. Now from the first part here, which is a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3, this can be expressed as a minus b. Here we have a squared plus ab plus b squared. So from here, u to the power of 3, minus 1 to the power of 3, this is the same thing as u minus 1. Here you have 
u squared plus u times 1 which is u then plus 1 squared which is 1. Let's call this equation 1. The second part here is in the form of a squared minus b squared which we can express as a plus b a minus b. So this implies that u squared minus 1 squared this is the same thing as u plus 1 then u minus 1. So let's call this equation 2. Let's combine equation 1 and 2. So we have 3 multiplying by this is u minus 1 then multiplying by u squared plus u plus 1 then plus no subtract 2 multiplying by u plus 1 then u minus 1 this is equal to 0. The next step is that u minus 1 and u minus 1 is common here so we can factor out u minus 1 so that now into the parentheses we have 3 multiplying by u squared plus u plus 1 cross the parentheses minus 2 multiplying by u plus 1 cross the parentheses this is equal to 0. So we have u minus 1 into the parentheses this is let's expand this we have 3u squared plus 3 times u this is 3u 3 times 1 this is plus 3 subtract 2 times u this is 2u minus 2 times plus 1 this is minus 2 cross the parentheses this is equal to 0 so we have two parts here the first part is u minus 1 this is equal to 0 the second part here is 3u squared then we have 3u minus 2u so this is plus u then we have 3 minus 2 this is plus 1 this is equal to 0 so from the first part here we have that u1 is equal to 1 and if you recall if you recall we have seen that let 3x be equal to u from here we have seen let 3x be equal to u so this implies that 3x is equal to 1 so let's divide both signs by 3 so that now x is equal to 1 over 3 this is x1 is equal to 1 over 3 so let's proceed to the second part here this is a quadratic equation of the form a u squared plus b u plus c this is equal to 0 from this quadratic equation a is equal to 3 b is equal to 1 and that c is equal to 1 so to solve for u2 comma u3 let's apply the quadratic formula from here which is minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 is c over 2 times a so let's substitute the values of a b and c from here so this means we have minus 1 plus or minus the square root of 1 squared minus 4 times a which is 3 then times c which is 1 everything here divided by 2 times a which is 3 so this implies that a we have minus 1 plus or minus the square root of this is 1 subtract 4 times 3 times 1 this is 12 over 3 times 2 which is 6 now this implies that u2 comma u3 this is equal to minus 1 plus or minus the square root of 1 minus 12 this is minus 11 over 6 so here we have minus 1 plus or minus the square root of we can write this as the square root of 11 multiplying by square root of 1 which is i 
divided by 6. So we have that u2, comma u3, this is equal to minus 1, plus or minus square root of 11i over 6. So if you recall, we have seen that let 3x be equal to u. So from this equation here, we have u1, that is u2, is equal to minus 1 plus square root of 11i over 6. So we can substitute u with 3x so that 3x is equal to minus 1 plus square root of 11i over 6. So this implies that let's multiply both signs by 1 over 3 times 1 over 3. Now, by simplifying here, 3 and 3 simplifies, so that x2 is equal to minus 1 plus x2 is minus 1 plus square root of 11i over 6 times 3, which is 18. This is x2. So, so for x3, we have 3x is equal to minus 1 minus square root of 11i over 6. So let's multiply both signs by 1 over 3. So that now, if we simplify here, we have that x3 is equal to minus 1 minus square root of 11i divided by 6 times 3, which is 18. So this implies that we have three solutions to this algebra problem. That is x1, x1 equal to a third, x2 is equal to, this is negative 1, plus square root of 11i over 18, and x3 is equal to minus 1, subtract square root of 11i, divided by 18. So this implies that we have only one real solution and two complexes. Now this implies that we have three solutions to this algebra problem. x1 is equal to 1 over 3. This is a real solution. And x2 and x3, these are two complex solutions. These are two complex solutions to this algebra problem. So the next step here is to verify. Let's verify that x1, which is a third, satisfies the equation. Now, if you recall, we have that 81 x to the power of 3 subtract 18 x to the power of 2 they should give us a value of 1. So substituting a third, we have 81 multiplied by 1 over 3 raised to the power of 3, then subtract 18 multiplied by 1 over 3 raised to the power of 2, they should give us a value of 1. So let, now let's verify that x1, which is a third, satisfies the equation. So if you recall, we end that 81 x to the power of 3 subtract 18 x to the power of 2. This is supposed to give us a value of 1. So let's substitute a third so that we have 81 times 1 over 3 raised to the power of 3 minus 18 multiplied by 1 over 3 raised to the power of 2, this should give us a value of 1. So this is 81 times 1 over 3 to the power of 3, this is 27, then subtract 18 times, this is 1 over 3 squared, which is 9, this should give us a value of 1. So let's simplify here, 81 divided by 27, this is equal to 3, minus 
here we have 18 divided by 2 by 18 divided by 9 this is equal to 2 so we have 3 minus 2 this should give us a value of 1 so 3 minus 2 this is 1 which is equal to 1 so this implies that the left add side is equal to the right add side and this proves that x1 which is that satisfies the equation so kindly follow the steps like this video and subscribe see you in the next video